If you go to Ronnie Lee's Instagram, people are showing me this. So Ronnie Lee is Playboy Carter's hairstylist, made his hair red, and she does his locks, and she's given some hints uh, throughout the whole lot of red process slash release date. But she posted Iggy. Where is it? Where is it? Wait, 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 wait. Right here. BM, I don't know what BM means. It means bowel movement to me, which means you're taking a shit. So I guess taking a shit, then went red. Oh, so blonde. What does BM mean? Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Then went red. The new classic, which is Iggy Azalea. I'm not really the short hair type girl kind of guy. So uh, I thought it was a wig personally at first, but you know, she she's doing her thing. But people think that this in addition to the Lil' Keed thing where Lil' Keed uh, teased a whole lot of red on his Instagram, last Instagram post, that they're like, oh, whole lot of red dropping in October. But I, I personally don't think so. I mean, I think October is going to be Trippy's month and then Juice World might be dropping in October, if you recall, because Lil' Bibby said that... What's it called? Lil Bibby set tweeted October, so either Kid Leroy or Juice World or maybe even both. Actually, no. Oh shit. Let let's get off that topic. Iggy Azalea might be teasing a whole lot of red. Let's just conclude that conversation. What's my favorite Cardi song? Shit, it switches all the time. Let's see. Let's see. I always liked Lame and words on uh, self-titled. That was like my shit. Um, what else? What else? Flatbed freestyle. Yeah. Long time. I really like at man pain 1993. I don't know why everybody hates on it, but yeah, the whole self-titled album and die lit pretty much. I, I could go off of I, I like all of pretty much all of both of those albums and I know are those two he only has two albums out that's crazy he only has two albums oh I like do that shit too by Cardi I definitely like that and mileage and flex yeah so what made me a fan of Cardi and I know I'm a little late <coughs> but to some of you OG Cardi fans, but <coughs> I was like a hardcore fan of uh, Uzi when Love Is Rage dropped, and then Louis Uzi Reverse the World 2 and shit like that. Um, I became a fan of Cardi when I heard his feature on Uzi's song, what was it, on Perfect Love Tape 2? What was that song? Oh wait, I can go on Spotify real quick. It was on the perfect love tape. Perfect love tape. Uh, of course we ghetto flowers. Okay, yeah. And then after I heard Cardi's verse, I was like, damn, this dude's fire. So then I checked out his shit. He hadn't even dropped self-titled yet because remember, uh, the perfect love tape dropped in 2016 and self-titled dropped in 2017. So then after he dropped self-titled, I was like, this dude is, is lit. And I liked every single song, and then ever since then, I was like hardcore Cardi, always repping my, repping my guy. So who are you a bigger fan of, Uzi or Cardi? Huh? Uh, who am I a bigger fan of, Uzi or Cardi? That's a good question. A lot of people think that I'm a bigger Cardi fan, but that's not. I don't think that's necessarily true. Uh, and I'll get into the question with Philly Philly about Trippy soon. But the reason I got into... Fuck. The reason people think that I like Cardi more than Uzi is because I defend Cardi. Because Car it's like a meme to hate on Cardi. And so it's just like... Uh, I like the underdog role. You know? And I, I don't like when people start hating on Playboy Cardi or any artist that I like for that matter. But Uzi gets a lot of love. So... I don't see a lot of hate for Uzi, and that's why people don't see me in social media defending Uzi that much, because he doesn't need it. But Cardi needs it. 
Because at man, pain 1993, he's getting slaughtered in 2020. I had to come in and be like, with my shield, winter's coming for Cardi, and just, yeah. I had to hold off a bunch of Nazi zombies. So that is why, uh, but to answer your question, who do I listen to more? I don't know, bro. Who am I a bigger fan of? I don't know. I can't answer that. I'll, I'll get back to you. 